Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we will be baking some Betty Crocker. Let me show you guys. Betty Crocker oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Yes. I've made these before, not for the channel, but I've made these before for the house, of course, and these are really good. I said I gotta bake these for the channel. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Yes. And I do think I have my homemade recipe on my channel as well. So make sure y'all go check that out. But you know what I like about these Betty Crocker cookies? They are quick and easy. Quick and easy. All I'm going to do, let me show y'all. Quick and easy cookies. Just rip that open. Get your cookie mix dumped in here. Quick and easy. And I'm doing two packs. Two packs, guys. Two packs. Because I like to make a lot of cookies and have extra cookies. Now, what I like about this mix, you can either use butter or you can use oil. <clears throat> and I like using the oil because they taste good. Let me get my scissors and cut this open. Alright. Ready and three easy steps. As you guys see here in the package, ready and three easy steps. That's what it says. And it is easy. Alright, let's see. Alright, so I got both packs dumped in here. Alright, and it tells you on the back if you're going to use oil. It says to use vegetable oil. Uh, to make dough, use one third cup of oil and one tablespoon of water and one egg. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Make a little hole in the middle there. So, since I've got two packs, I'm going to have to do two one-third cups. And this is my one-third cup measurer. Alright, so i got to do two of these. Because <clears throat> remember, we're doing two packs. Alright, that's the one. Two. Alright, we got that done. And I've been using this Bertoli olive oil. Uh, ideal for sauteing, baking, and frying. Extra light taste. I've been using that. And see right here what it says you can use it for baking. I've been using this for um, when I've been doing my baking, my cakes and my cookies. Because you know what? I've noticed with this oil, my cookies and my cakes, they just come out better. You know, they taste better. Alright, so now we've got to do the, well, I already did two of the one-third cups, one-third cups of the oil. i got to do two, uh, one tablespoon of water, so i got to do two. Alright, there's one. And there's two. Tablespoons of water. Alright, so we got that. Clean my little mess up over here. Alright, so we got that. We got our oil. Okay, got our oil. We got our water. Now let's do our two eggs. Remember, I'm doing two. So I gotta do double everything, pretty much. Cracking my egg in my bowl first. Because lately, I've been cracking and getting eggs in my mix. So I'm playing it safe today. Alright, so we got our two eggs in there. And that's it. We just gonna mix our mix. That is it. That's all. We're gonna mix this up. And one thing I like about this mix too, it has a lot of chocolate chips. A lot of chocolate chips in it. Yes. I'm just going to mix this up. Now, I do want to let you guys know what I have been doing with my cookie mix. I have been putting them in the freezer for like an hour, hour and a half. So my mix can be nice and cold. And it just makes your cookies come out better. It does. It just makes them come out so much better. I've been learning that from doing so much baking and cooking, whether it's homemade cookies or store-bought cookies, you know. Just put your dough in the freezer for like an hour, hour and a half, and then when you bake them, they come out so soft in the middle and a little crunchy around the edges. I'm telling y'all, it really, really works. All right. All right. Okay. Now. Nah. While I'm mixing this up, I do want to give y'all the word of the day, the word that has been in my spirit that God has been dealing with me on. And the word of the day is, sometimes in life, God causes a separation. 
you know like some people in your life ain't gonna go with you to the next level they just not that's just how god does it don't you know don't mean they did anything wrong or maybe they did you know but sometimes when you're going to another level everybody can't go with you and i know we've all heard that but that's what god's been dealing with me in my spirit and you know what they're not gonna get it when you're going to that next level they're not gonna get it but that's just the way it is Hey, I don't have to explain myself to you. I'm just doing what God told me to do. I'm not here to explain myself to you. Because I got to answer to God. I don't know who you answering to. You may be answering to God too. That's your business. But as far as me and my house, oh yeah, we going to serve the Lord. But that's what God been dealing with me on, you know. He's like, hey, you, you're going to a new level. You're going to another level and everybody ain't going to be able to go with you. And, and, and at the end of the day, your relationship with God ain't about who your friend or who ain't your friend or who you talking to or who you ain't talking to. Some people just ain't going to go with you. That's just how it is. And I've learned to accept that. We try to hold on to the very thing God is trying to let go. Tell us to let go. No, I don't want to hold on no more. I don't need to hold on to you. I'm holding on to God with both hands. I can't have one hand on God and one hand on you. No, baby. I need both hands on God. That's the truth. So... That's the word of the day. Both hands hold on to God. Both hands got to hold on to God. You can't hold on to him with one hand. One hand on God and the other hand on, on this person and that person. No, no, baby. Mm -mm. I got both hands on the Lord. And that's the word of the day. Keep both hands on the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word. That's what he been dealing with me on. All right, so we've got our cookie mix all mixed up. Oh, y'all, look at all those chocolate chips. Now, y'all know most of them cookie mixes going to be having all these chocolate chips. But look at that. Look at Betty. Look at Betty. Betty giving us all these chocolate chips. Oh, it looks so good. I'm going to finish mixing it up. But y'all don't need to sit here and watch me mix it. But remember, I'm going to put it in the freezer for an hour, hour and a half. I'm going to put mine. I've been doing an hour and a half. So, hour and a half in the freezer. And I'm going to show y'all. Now, I'm not going to make this little cute little cookies that I normally make y'all. Oh, no, baby. I've gone New York style. Hopefully, y'all done seen that New York, those New York cookies I've baked. I don't know, y'all. Y'all know I be filming way ahead. I be way ahead with my schedule. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make these larger than usual. That's my new thing now, making my cookies nice and large, like the New York style big cookies. So that's what I'm gonna do to these. Y'all will see that. I'm gonna come back and show y'all uh, when I take the cookie dough out the freezer and how I'm gonna make the, the cookie dough balls. And then I'll show y'all me the cookies all nice and baked. Quick video, y'all. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back, and my cookie dough has been in the freezer for an hour and a half. Hour and a half cookie dough in the freezer. So, I got my little ice cream scooper thing here. Because, like I said, I'm making larger than usual cookies. I'm going to show y'all how I'm just going to scoop this up. Nice little balls. I mean, but these are large, larger than usual, as you guys can see. Pretty large. Uh-oh, drop the chocolate chip. It's like the size of the palm of my hand. So, these are going to be pretty big cookies. And I'm not, you know, shaping them in a the ball. I'm just kind of like squishing them together like that. Just squishing it together. You know, not, not the perfect ball, but it's cute. Good enough. And I'm going to sit it down on my tray. And on this tray, because they're big cookies, I can't really fit that many. I think I could probably do like one, two, three, four, five cookies on each tray. So, let me show y'all. I love making these big cookies now. It's my little new thing now. They call it like the New York style cookies. It's the same thing as a regular cookie. It's just a bigger cookie. That's all. And the girls like them. I like them so. Just kind of squish it together. Not too much. And you sit it down like that. And they are going to spread. And you guys will see how big these cookies are going to be. You see. Might be able to take a little bit off this one. I want to make them too big. Just kind of squish them around the sides like that. Like you're trying to shape it, but you don't want to do too much. But you are trying to get that, you know, that circular shape. All right, put that one in the middle. I'm just going to show y'all me doing the first tray. And I love that the dough is nice and hard and you know, frozen a little bit because it's been in the freezer an hour and a half. So I need a little bit more cookie dough with this one. 
And you know what, doing it this way makes your cookies nice and soft in the inside and it gives it that little crunch on the outside. Like so good, it makes the cookies so, so good. All right, I'm gonna do one more because that's about all I can fit on this pan. Okay. Nice. Make my little ball like that. This will be the last one for this tray because I can't fit anymore. Okay, we'll put that there. Give them room to spread. Perfect. That's it, you guys can see. I can only do five per pan. Now the regular size cookies, I can normally do like eight cookies. But as y'all can see, I can only fit five because these jokers fat. So, all right y'all, y'all see how I panned them up? I'm gonna go ahead and get the cookies all panned up and get them in the oven. And when I come back, it will be the grand finale. All right guys. Okay guys, we are back for the grand finale. And you guys can see how our oatmeal chocolate chip Betty Crocker cookies turned out. They look amazing. They taste amazing. Yes. I love the New York style, making the cookies all nice and big and large. Okay, if that's New York style. Anyway, we can make that here in Florida. We can make it do what it do. All right, guys, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.